As of the 12th of July 2023, it's officially been a full year since the first science images from JWST were released. It feels just like yesterday that we were sat waiting for the images, listening to this absolute tune for what felt like hours. If you were there, you know. We've come a long way since then and seen a ton of incredible images from the best telescope in space. For a bit of fun, I've put together what I think are the best 10 images we've seen in the last year to celebrate this anniversary. They are roughly in order, but I'd love to argue in the comments with you about it. So please let me know if you disagree with my order or if you think I've missed something entirely. Also, for this list, I'm going purely off aesthetic attributes, not the science value of the image. It's basically a pure beauty contest here today. That does mean that exoplanets don't really feature here. While they're hugely important and interesting, and they're a huge part of the science that JWST is doing, at the moment they don't produce mind-blowing images, so sorry about the lack of them here. Basically, get ready to look at loads of space dust and galaxies. First of all, in at number 10, we have the Phantom Galaxy. This is a close-up of an enormous spiral galaxy that faces Earth almost perfectly face-on. This is a hypnotic spiral that just seems to go on forever. JWST's range of infrared wavelengths combine here to show us the dust and structure of the galaxy, with those spiral arms forming a gorgeous skeleton for this galaxy, all of which lives about 32 million light years from us. It's encrusted with colourful jewels of star clusters and bubbles of gas, and it's a galaxy that I feel I could get lost in for hours. Number 9 I'm giving to a protostar named L1527. This hourglass looking object is a star in the process of forming. Besides the colours and textures and beautiful wisps of gas and dust we can see in the image, the reason that I think this one is so cool is what is at the very centre. It's a beautiful disk of material, called an accretion disk, that will feed matter to the new star as it forms. It looks so delicate, despite the fact that it's an extreme and violent environment as a brand new star continues to form and ignite. Next up is a big one. It's the Pillars of Creation from JWST, and this is number 8 on my list. This is an enormous structure that looks like a majestic hand reaching out into the cosmos. It's in the Eagle Nebula, six and a half thousand light years away, and it's one of the most famous objects in space. It's a huge cloud of dust and gas, and small overdensities have caused parts of the cloud to collapse under gravity, forming countless protostars within the pillars. Towards the ends of the pillars, we see particularly red areas that look almost lava-like. This is the glow of material being ejected from new stars as they form, the radiation of the new stars pushing material away as it tries to collapse. All in all, it's a fascinating image of a gorgeous region of space. Number 7 might seem a bit surprising, given the overwhelming colours, textures and general awesomeness we just had. But this is a special kind of star called a wolf rayet star, and I am absolutely in love with what's going on here. These rings around the star are real physical rings that actually exist in this star system. The main star is interacting with other nearby stars in a way that causes it to periodically eject loads of gas and dust, and this combined with its orbit produces the stunning rings here, which are being lit up beautifully by the star itself. I just love how this image shows off a really surprising interaction and piece of physics, and it totally blew my mind when I first saw it. In at number 6, we have one of the very first images we ever saw from the telescope, and it's a group of five galaxies called Stefan's Quintet. While there are five galaxies visible here, only four of them are actually close to each other and interacting, and this one here is much closer to us. There are trails and shockwaves visible from the interacting galaxies, but that's not why I love this image so much. It shows us objects from all of cosmic history. Behind the quintet, we can see distant background galaxies, which are some of the oldest that we can image at the moment. We then have the newer merging galaxies and the star formation they are triggering. And even closer to us, we can see some stars in our own galaxy too. That huge range of objects and cosmic time is why I think this image deserves sixth place in the list. Into the top five now, and this is the famous ultra deep field patch of space that Hubble once imaged, but this is how JWST sees it. When the $10 billion telescope looked at this region of space, it saw thousands and thousands of galaxies, even more than Hubble did in its iconic image. As well as seeing more of them, JWST also saw them brighter and in more detail than we've ever seen them before. 
The implications for how big the universe is, how much it really contains, and the huge spectrum of things that exist in the universe is truly breathtaking. And that's why I like this image so much. Number four is one of my favourite galaxies to be imaged so far, and it's called the Cartwheel Galaxy. I particularly love this blue looking version of the image, taken using near infrared light. This is a beautiful galaxy with a unique shape, this wheel-like appearance, spokes included. It likely formed from another galaxy smashing its way through this galaxy many millions of years ago. That galaxy has since disappeared out of the field of view of this image, but its effect is still more than visible in this stunning galaxy. My bronze medal is being given to the biggest gas giant planet in our solar system, Jupiter. Before that, I do want to give a special mention to the images of Uranus and Neptune, which I love too, especially these wide, zoomed out shots of them hanging in space. I don't really know why I love these ones so much, but I really do. Jupiter though is much bigger and closer to us than those planets, so its image is so much more detailed and generally it's just awesome. We can see a couple of moons of the planet. It's faint rings that many people don't even know about, turbulent clouds in its atmosphere, the great spot, aurorae at its poles, and so much more. Overall, just a stunner. Second place now, and I'm giving it to a wide image of thousands of galaxies. I think this image is pretty special though, mostly because of the incredible gravitational lensing we can see going on over here. There's a huge amount of regular and dark matter between us and these galaxies, causing the light paths for them to be warped and bent, creating these incredible new shapes. These galaxies are probably perfectly regular and normal looking in reality, but from our vantage point on Earth, the universe is making it all look very strange. This is one of the most extreme examples in the image, and it's been nicknamed the Cosmic Seahorse. But personally, I also love this dragon looking one over here too. Before I reveal the winner, please let me know your top images in the comments below, and give me your thoughts on my picks as well. Maybe give me your own top 10, or your top 3, or something like that. Or just say happy birthday to JWST if you fancy it. Finally, after all of that, here is my number one favourite image from JWST's first year of science. It's the Carina Nebula. I know, it's another of the very first batch of images we saw from the telescope. And perhaps it's the fond memories and nostalgia here at play, but I absolutely love this image. Heck, I even 3D printed a copy of it. I love it so much. The colours are amazing. The orange is another enormous cloud of space dust and gas, and the deep blue is a clearer region of space. Stars are forming down here in the dust, and as they start to eject radiation, they're boiling the surroundings and clearing even more bubbles in the nebula. We can see wisps of gas boiling off the orange regions, countless stars that we've never seen before as well as distant galaxies in the background too. This image was a perfect start to images from JWST, and I think it's also a great way to end this list to celebrate one year of JWST images. Here's to many more examples of all of this, and I know that we'll be getting some brand new images incredibly soon, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and do let me know if you agree with me in the comments below. Happy stargazing, and stay safe team. Bye!